Oh my god, it's crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> That's okay. I like that on the wall. Ooh. I like it. Hello, little fella. Where are you going? Why are you running? Oh, wow. Look at that. Water. <laughs> I find ice. Oh my god. That is a castle. We're at freaking Hogwarts. Um, Lydia. Do you think we're a bit at eye level to the road with our room? <laughs> oh. We checked in late last night and I knew we had a ground floor level, but I feel like we're in one of those hotel rooms, you know, like where you walk in the front desk and there's someone behind glass, like a weird art piece. We are that living art piece. But who's art? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to me, not with an iron shirt. Hmm. Hmm. Still me with an unironed shirt because ladies and gentlemen, it's a new dawn and it's a new day. We're in. Bam! Oh no, we're not. We're in Jasper. We are indeed in Jasper where we have spent the night. We weren't expecting to fully do so. We tried to stay at a different hotel. We turned up, they were like, you don't have a room here. And then we settled with here. And I tell you what, thank God we did. Because we had a cracking night's sleep and woke up to a beautiful view, not of like the road, but of all the lovely mountains in the background. Now today we are waking up with a plan. Isn't that right? That's right. There is a waffle place here that looks absolutely insane. It's probably gonna be rammed with tourists. It's probably gonna be an hour queue, but I wanna try and go to it. Then once that's done, we're gonna be driving three and a half hours back to Banff from Jasper. So imagine this mirror, okay, is the map. So this corner is Jasper, this corner is Banff. We're gonna go straight down. It's literally a straight line on a map, it's crazy. But it's the most beautiful scenic views ever. Like if we put some B-roll on the screen of stuff we saw yesterday, it was beautiful. Well, we're gonna head back to Banff, stay there overnight, and it's gonna be absolutely wicked, absolutely awesome, because today we're gonna to be doing a hotel review. And not just any hotel review, one of the nicest rated hotels in Canada. Ready? Ready. Let's get waffles. Wow, it is so much colder outside than it was in our hotel room. I think that's the first time since I lived in LA I've ever stayed somewhere without AC. And let me tell you, that's one of the greatest inventions of all time. And she's off. She's got, that's a, that's Lydia's knowing she's going to get food, happy walk. She's like, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. And I tell you what, I'm going to get a good picture of this view around here. It's lovely. Now I'm expecting this place to be absolutely rammed, but it's got like 3,000 five star reviews. Oh my God, a wild beast. Oh my God, it's crazy. Oh my God. I nearly got mauled by a wild animal. Life flash before my life. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. We got a seated table outside and the food is sounding good. Lydia has devised a plan. We're going to get a breakfast to share and then, because we're fat, a dessert waffle to share. I'm also throwing it out here. I'm definitely getting a milkshake. You're getting a Rolo shake. Mm -hmm. I think I might get strawberry delight. As the train is leaving the station, food has arrived. We have breakfast with eggs scrambled. Lydia's nearly eating it all because I've been on the phone to Orion, the legend who edits these videos. And a big ass waffle, look at the size of that thing. And a banana milkshake. Yeah, I know I said I was going to get strawberry, but I'm a, I'm a banana guy. Lydia. All right, so Lydia said, I am going to love these waffles. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Very good, very nice. Breakfast was lovely. The waffle, sweet enough. The, 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 the breakfast, filling enough. Banana milkshake. I just pushed myself too far. I'm trying to call mine. I, 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 no one needs to see that. Now, as I was paying for the bill, Lydia's like, Tom, Tom, you need to come and have a look at this shop. I found something you love to film. Okay. For fuck's sake, take your shoes off. Live like someone left the gate open. And <laughs> hey, I'm not. That's okay. I like that one a lot. She knows me too well. Get out of here. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. And it looks like we finally found like the center of Jasper. We didn't actually see it yesterday, did we? Because we rushed off to the hotel. Rushed off to the hotel to make the most of that and then got fucking turfed out. Let's cross the Rainbow Road. I like it, representing pride everywhere. 
Yo, this is very nice. I think we've hit the jackpot. I think we've hit the jackpot. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Yep. What have you found? <laughs> oh, Olaf and Sven. Yes. And yes. Oh my God. What is a priority? Cube toys or us being eaten alive? We need to stay alive. Why did that take so long? I could probably put money on that. There's a guy going to jump up in that suit and scare you. <laughs> why, would, why, why would you do that? However, my tally today is three fake bears, no real bears. Ooh, we've entered it into a place called a circle. I don't think we've been into one of these yet. A little snacking area over there. Everything you could possibly want and more. Michael Bublé. Nah. God, I've not seen one of them in ages. Yes, <laughs> it's a Lunchable. <laughs> Grabbing myself a drink. Wait a minute, Ma Marshmallow has his own Coca-Cola? What the heck? Never seen that before, but got a monster for the road. Lydia's looking for snacks. And I think we're ready to hit the road. Well, I approve of circle. Circle with a K. K? What have you seen? What? Oh, <laughs> Vladimir Putin. Oh my God. <laughs> this is awful. As much as Pooh Bear missed Piglet, he really didn't enjoy that bacon sandwich. He really did enjoy the bacon sandwich. Oh my God. <laughs> this is an edgy shop. And for us hitting the road again, your boys topped up at the shell. Oh, hey doggy. She has even more snacks. We've got everything we need. And now we have a three and a half hour drive to get back to Banff with maybe some stop offs along the way. So maybe enjoy a road montage and other than a road montage, maybe some places to visit. it to this place that was recommended and holy smokes that is insanity so what did she say now it was a five ten minute walk yeah a small little hike to like the bottom of like the place where it's all melted and it's gorgeous oh. time to transform into our hiking boots under the beast that is this mountain we've uh, arrived at the beautiful destination look at lydia's face <laughs> The sign says 45 minutes. She's like, but the girl yesterday said it would take 10. I don't know. It's a good job we checked the map in it. <laughs> okay, so we're not gonna go up there to this like viewing point here. We're actually gonna walk kind of up the river to the pond. I ho, I ho, it's up the river we go. I ho, I ho, I ho, I ho. I'm thinking this looks like a good way. Yes. Well, we're two seconds into the second trail. And at this point it says, do not enter unstable terrain. Maybe we can go that way, but apparently not that way. It, it looks like the trail continues. So we'll just see if it leads us to the uh, Glacier Lake. Yeah, well, let's see if it leads us closer to the deadly mountains. Content. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I was thinking, do I start doing all the edgy vlogging shots like walking past? Problem with doing that is I have to come and get the camera every five seconds. <laughs> Unless I put my camera down like that, walk past like that. Wow. Action shot. And then cue Lydia to get the camera for me. <laughs> God, this is so much easier when you've got a camera lady. Thanks, babe. Appreciate you so much. And, that, and that's all the action shots you get for now. Little dude, you really are so cute. I can see why they did a show called Alvin and the Chipmunks. Hello, where are you going? Why are you running? The closer we get to this, the closer it just starts looking like a deep blue hole. And from all the video games I've seen or played, there's a monster coming out of it. Whoa. -ho -ho. We made it. Look at that. Again, climate change. Big sign says dangerous, but doesn't say do not enter. So we're we going. I'm quick. I'm coming. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, our first puddle ride right? turned out great. This is the second. The first one was not great. <laughs> first puddle ride right here. Mm, yeah, not so great. <laughs> Glacier, lovely. 
picture. Lovely. Oh, baby. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. I took it on like night mode photo the other day. That's why it overexposed like crazy. I didn't know it had settings. I thought you just pressed it. I don't know why, but I want to try and get an ed edgy video shot for some reason. Let me try and see if I can do it. Wow. Would you look at that? Got the breeze, the flowers, the water. Wow. Amazing. And then we focus. And wow. Look at that. Water. Do, do you know what I figured out before we even mentioned anything? They have moved this. Look, cause it's dug out the cement where it originally was up there. They've dug it out and moved it further because it keeps melting, getting smaller and smaller. On the other side of this meltwater lake lies Cavill Glacier. Each summer, a, li a little more of the toe is nibbed away by the slightly warmer lake, causing icebergs and caves. Would you like to go ice cave spelunking? I would. That would be great. From a distance, this looks really nice, but the closer you get, it looks like a frothy latte or something. An iced latte, because it's an iceberg. <laughs> Ooh, the temperature dropped when we got down here. Tourists always stop where the rest of the tourists are. It's always worth going a little bit further, and look how much clearer, with no one around, it is. No foam in the water. This is a very good spot. Time for me to touch the water. Ooh! Shelly! <laughs> I find ice. Did you get wet? My hands are cold. <laughs> this is so cold. Come give me a hug. Come. No. Come, come. No, 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 no. Go away. I think we could get a really good photo if you climb onto that and then pretend you're sunbathing and I'll take a dope picture. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Do it. You fall in, I'll rush you back to the car and we'll turn the dryer on, okay? What's the worst that could happen? Well, could Sorry? If I fall in, will you take that home and polish it for me? Maybe. I'll say yes. You didn't say what for. <laughs> Bloody hell, you're already on it. Yeah, that looks great. Come on now, come, come on now. Boy's a photographer out here. Like, there she is, and this is the shot. Come on now. Follow me on Instagram, at Syndicate. Oh, yeah, very good shots. Do, 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 do the pictures. Things. Here we see in the wild, a Lydia sunbathing under a... An, an, an iceberg that's about to collapse on her. Beautiful. What are you doing? Making a bridge. If anyone wonders what it was like when on holiday with Tom, it's like this 24 7. That's some really ice news. <laughs> Looks like a banana. Should we go now? Yeah. Okay, I've got a bridge. I thought we were going. Oh, poor Lydia, even with the hiking rocks on, just took a little tumble. But that, that, that little dude over there came running over with a piece of ice for her. Oh, you He's dirty. Just... Baby, it's ice. Are you okay? Put some on your knee. Oh, are you okay? Babe, I thought that was a broken hand then. You really, really went. She fell on this, got a foot stuck under it, twisted it, and then fell hand first into there. I don't know. Oh, you were showing me a rock. I was showing you a rock. You okay? Yeah. Hey, that's what I love about you. You bounce back. This is the rock you want to take home. <laughs> you came to show me a rock. It's a lovely rock, babe. <laughs> you started running for some reason. I was like, why are you running? <laughs> and you fell. All right, be careful now. Wait, what do you mean? My hands are the same colour as it now. <laughs> what a great rock. Yeah, it's lovely. What's Rock. Hurt my girlfriend. My baby, you okay? Yeah, let's go. Okay, it's your fault. <laughs> what about in Glacier? What do you think? Mm. I think it would have been like a 10 out of 10 if you wouldn't have. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna take one point off. <laughs> 8 out of 10 now. Was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough rock climbing for today. I think we just get back to the car and head on our venture, adventure to back. I ho, I ho, it's on the trail we go to get our car and drive on down to Banff. We go, we go, we go. Wow, magic B-roll looks so good. I hope this is like the fanciest vlog you've ever seen, darling. It's fucking beautiful. Well, I think it's safe to say we made it back in piece. one pieces. What are you getting in the driver's side? Oh, again. <laughs> get the AC a blowing and get my phone a charging. Okay, we had an awesome stop off, but it is now time to hit the road 
on the high way, on the, on the high way. Yeah, you're going the wrong way. Oh, I'm no, I'm actually not. going the right way, yeah. Um, it's weird, I thought we needed yeah, to go to Jasper. I went a different, yeah, I went a different route Jasper to get here. Time. We are now on the road to Bath. Cue the road montage! I hope you enjoyed the montage of us driving all the way back. We're only about 40 minutes away from Banff now, which is like next to nothing just on the highway, but we're about to leave the national park. And rather than just saying, let's drive straight out and not pull over one last time, we've pulled over at a place they like to call Herbert Lake. And here she is, Lydia's by the water. I think a bear's been trying to eat the sack. You think a bear's been here? Oh, maybe. We did just see massive droppings on the road, didn't we? Mm. So if there was ever a chance for us to see a bear in any location, this would probably be it. Whoa! Can you see all those dragonflies? Yeah. Whoa! They're awesome! Oh, wow, it's fully pulled over. <laughs> pulled over like it's a car. <laughs> Yo, dude, park up, bro. Don't judge me. It had to be done. I had to step inside it and cool down. Wow. It's lovely. What a perfect little place to stop. Are you stuck? Yes. Yeah. Socks. <laughs> ah! That's not a way to get them. I just got to move oh, further. No. Oh, no. Further away. Stop it, John. I would belly flop on you. <laughs> Thank you. Bloody nicks my shoes and then runs off. Sneaky bastard. I found her hiding by the car, ready to scare me. <laughs> I was worried about it eating you. And there we go. The end of our Icefield Parkway adventure, all the way to Jasper. We didn't see a bear. It was eventful. Unfortunately, we didn't see moose and we didn't see bears. So, beats, bears, Battlestar Galactica, not completed. <laughs> it's now seven o'clock, which was supposed to be here at five. Four. Four. <laughs> Bump side with loads of tourists on. Let's go! Can't wait to get turned away from this hotel. <laughs> I told you it was exciting. If we've drove another three and a half hours to get turned away from a hotel, I'm gonna flip my shit. And let me tell you this right now. This is probably gonna be one of the grandest hotels I may have ever, ever stayed in. Oh my God, that is a castle! We're at freaking Hogwarts! I honestly feel like I'm in a like a Disney hotel. Look at this. Conference center looks like a goddamn castle. What the heck? Check it in. Check it in? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Is there like supposed to be like missing rooms in this hotel where people died? Not really missing rooms, but there, there are some stories. Really? Yeah. Well, what have you heard? I to be honest, every time people talk about it, I, I walk away. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't like the ghost stories. I'm, I'm afraid myself, so I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't ask about ghosts. I'm just hoping one thing. I know it's a nice hotel and everything. I just hope they have Wi-Fi. That's all I care about. I just need internet. All right, and I have left Lydia at the front. I'm going to drive the car to the park it yourself thing. On the website, it was like, valet parking, $42. I was like, no, I don't think I will. They wanted me to pay for them to park my car up here. Are you kidding me? They should be paying me to park my car up here. This has got to be one of the best parking lots I've ever been to. Look at the views. Madness. All right, if we thought the car park view was epic, take a look at this. This place looks like something out of Harry Potter or a medieval holiday retreat. I feel like this belongs more in like Scotland than it does in Banff, Canada. Off the bat, I've got to say, I am very impressed, but some caught my eye. It's all like pretty nice and pretty cute and pretty nice, but over there you can rent Vespers straight from your hotel and go scooting around town. Tempted. Um, not sure if I'm gonna fit everything in I wanna do on my night stay here, <laughs> but I'm gonna try my best. 
<laughs> oh, I love going on my little random adventures. You, ne you never know what's going to happen next. All right, so this is where you would pull up and valet and walk straight into the hotel. But you know me, save a penny, make a pound. We now enter in to Banff Springs Hotel. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I can see where they valet it because it's a bit far away to valet. But like I said, they should pay me because the view there where I parked up is insane. Built in 1888. 1888. Then burned down because it was wood. Then they rebuilt it. Well, not burned down completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The some of the structure. Yeah, so they rebuilt it. Is that where all the ghosts came from? I've heard nothing but ghost stories. I don't know. <laughs> so it is a castle. It is. Inspired by a Scottish ar architect. Mm -hmm. Knew it. Yeah. Well, this place is like Hogwarts because we're in House Beaver as you can see on the wall up there epic Lydia's booking dinner now he said we have to go to a bar which is up there so up the stairs to the bar and then inside there there's apparently a secret bar which I was like how do I get there he was like okay come on <laughs> it's a secret so I've got to find out in the morning we have got booked uh, a spa treatment which gives us access to like a private pool for a couple of hours uh, I think I think it's like natural springs or something so I'll make sure I like film all that and everything and apparently they've got an Olympic size pool here I usually don't get out of bed till like 9 10 o'clock in the morning but I might have to make an exception and get up at 7 a.m. to make the most of this hotel like I said this is like a this is like a once in a lifetime spot and I think you can tell why so we were gonna go and eat at Vermillion because the chop house. French restaurant. Yeah, the chop house. There's seven restaurants here. Yeah, yeah. What the heck? But the chop house is like the restaurant. Oh. Here. And okay. I looked online, it was fully booked. Yeah. So I just went over there to book it and I was like, oh, can we book for Vermillion? Blah, blah, blah. And then he went, do you know where it is? It's just up the stairs past the movies of the chop house. And, oh, you've got no ability for there tonight, have you? He went, do you want me to check? And then he was like, I can get you in at 8.30. So we're going. Yes. Apparently we greet you with Dom Perignon you on champagne. What the, the fuck? <laughs> Is that free? <laughs> Fucking up so. <laughs> I did think one thing would be really good here. Hmm. <laughs> you already checked? <laughs> I did a speed test of the internet and it is potato. The, the guest one, the guest one's like three. Oh, oh is it? Yeah. Oh, nine upload. I might be able to upload at least three videos tonight. Not three, four videos. Just three videos, man. Why do I film in 4K? Ooh, Rundle Bar, Rundle Rush Hour. Oh, I kind of want to visit that. Where are you going? I'm lost. It's a, where's the map? I'm lost. What, what is going on here? This is very fancy. <laughs> We're just rolling through with our backpacks <laughs> and brown bags. Ooh, this looks like a nice shop. Canadian Rockies, mine. So this is our floor, and we are room number, I can't see, 481. Where's the arrows? There. We are this way. Oh, I wonder what it's like. We've apparently got like a mountain view. Oh, oh, oh this looks nice. Get, get over the ledge. Oh, this looks very nice. Ooh, comfy bed. Let's take a look. Do we have a room with a view? Oh, oh. Oh, what is this? It's worth the extra 70 quid. Is that what it cost us? The mountain view, yeah. Where's my basement with no windows? <laughs> wow, this is seriously, seriously some Harry Potter shit right now. Wow, you can see the river and the rest of the mountains over there. Oh my lord, this is insane. Okay, so as I do with nearly every hotel room, when it's like a nice hotel or whatever, we do a bed review. Is it comfy? And the only way to test it is this. <gasps> oh! Oh! It's so comfy! <laughs> oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. I like it a oh, lot. This is very nice. I, I would like to say that that little chandelier is very nice, but I'm terrified that one of those things is going to fall off and stab me in the eye. Because you may have heard me speaking about this, but it, I was none the wiser. I didn't know. I didn't care. But apparently, this place isn't famous for its beautiful views or its looks, it's famous for its ghosts. Now, apparently, there's just ghosts that roam the hotel, and there's even a room that got covered up, like, say, you know, it's like, door one, two, three, four, seven. You're like, wait, where did those rooms go? Apparently, there was, like, ghost murdery things going on in there. I have no idea the details, but they covered them up to get rid of them 
because they were so haunted. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So, um, oh. what? What if you found a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got you back. Oh, nice. got a nice little rope. Oh, very good, very good. What have we got? We've got safe, laundry, that. What's inside this? Let me in. Nope. <laughs> let me out. 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 Uh, whoa, bleeding, bleeding hell. Harry Potter's closet over it. This thing's tiny. It's not, it's not the size that matters. How do you use it? Bathtub. Shower. Mirror. Very good, very good, very good. I'm going to get that used because I've been driving for hours and hours and hours. And uh, I'm a little bit sweaty. So I think I should get changed, freshen up, and look a bit smarter so i will see you guys with the power of a transformation and voila Yay, look at that he's changed into a nice white t-shirt and some shorts and lydia looks amazing don't scrub up too badly do we <laughs> what we're placing the down right now we get down to the restaurant and say excuse me sir can you go put some pants on guarantee it i've got pants but I just don't want to wear them. Man, they got decapitated and added another ghost to the hotel. <laughs> also worth knowing, at this hotel, there's five weddings here today, and then seven tomorrow. I, I have no idea. Oh, this is nice, baby. You look so good. Damn, girl. Damn. Straight up the stairs, like. Cinderella. Okay, 1888 Chop House. Let's find out if I need pants. Also, tell me that that guy behind the bar doesn't look like Optic Big Timer. Oh, this does look very, very nice. Oh, this looks good and smells great. Proud recipient of a bunch of awards. A modern, sophisticated chop house serving the best of Alberta beef, sustainably sourced wild game and ocean-wise seafood. Is there anything that you've seen so far that you're like, we have to get? Yes, we What's that? Paul Roger. It's my favourite champagne from Amazon. That's how much, eh? $220. We can get that off Amazon for 30 quid. Oh, they've got a tasting menu of Canada. That sounds pretty nice. Crab, bison, tartar, sable fish duck breast and sea buckthorn. What is that? Oh, you know this place is fancy when on the first page they have caviar. Mm, okay. The one thing I know is that I want meat. I don't really care about seafood. I want like a steak. Uh, and I found the menu and cracky joe. Don't forget this is in Canadian. Um, Alberta beef, flaming young, New York strip. I don't think I'm seeing... Oh, ribeye. Whoa. <clears throat> So how about bread? I'm joking, I'm joking. How much? $17. $17 of bread. Oh, yeah. Once in a lifetime opportunity. So, what are you having for your dinner? Braised beef cheek. Braised beef cheek? Braved. Bra yeah, that's the one. <laughs> braised beef cheek. No, it's a real brave one. It's a brave, it's a brave beef cheek. <laughs> it died to be served to it, to be said, fed to you. And then what starter? Scallops and pork. Scallops and pork. She ordered the scallops and pork. I guarantee right now it just is way better than my start. I went for soup. Oh, the soup sounds good though. Apple and leek. Parsnip. Parsnip. I hope it's good. <laughs> I'm absolutely starving and I ordered soup for a starter. That said, um, we gone all out for dinner. Um, I've ordered a four ounce Japanese Wagyu steak. I'm hungry and when in Rome, got balls to the wall. Well, my lady, a cheers to our Canadian adventure. It's been a week, a week of traveling, possibly another two weeks or more to go, and to Cena Bear. Cheers. <laughs> also, this is some sort of like wheat beer, a little wheat beer. Very nice. Oh. Okay, my soup looks nice, but come on. Oh, why do I always order wrong? I'm an idiot. I'm going for the soup. I'm going for it. Please be good. That's really good. <laughs> yep. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> Can I have a bit, please? <laughs>
the perks of going out with Lydia is we always share food. Wow, that really is as good as it looks. Flipping heck. Oh, you know she's happy when she's taking pictures of it. The beef cheek looks amazing. The Brussels sprouts look amazing. The mashed potato looks amazing. And we got, boys, an A5 Wagyu steak. Oh, wow. I am very excited to try this. First taste test. Mm. Oh, the moment that touches your tongue, it is the flavor. Wow, that is very nice. Oh, mm. what? That was melted like butter. I'm now going to try it with one of the sauces. Oh, bollocks. Definitely didn't mean to drop it in all that, but anyway. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay, and now I'm going to try the second sauce, but this time not drop it in it. Mm. Mm. The sauces are incredible, but I feel like I should just eat it without them. But damn, that is really good. It's got so much fat in it. Like, that is insane. So, reviewing of the Wagyu, it was very, very nice. It's a tasting experience. I've had it before. It was interesting to have it again. The thing is, it was a small portion because the more you get, the costlier you get. Top and bottom of it. Really liked it, but do you know what I would have just loved? Like, a 12 ounce ribeye. Do you know what I mean? But that wasn't on the menu. So I was just like, when in Rome, we'll go for something like that. But it was nice. Probably wouldn't have ordered it over a ribeye. Lydia's all food coming to her tea. She's like, I'm really tired. To the point where she doesn't even want a dessert, which is not like Lydia. She's like, let's go in bed and watch the sunset. No, 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 no. We've got a hotel to explore. We're making the most of it. And we're going to go to the bar and find the secret bar. Well, that was very nice. Adam the server was incredible. You still look beautiful. <laughs> and it's time for us to find the bar. But then the secret bar. Is this the secret bar? <laughs> 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 what? You are the limits to my tatties. <laughs> <laughs> look at her. Ooh, Lydia's ready at Rundle Bar, which is not the bar we want. Seat yourself? Oh, okay. Of course I will. Are you sure you found it? I don't want to look like an idiot, but go on. Hold that, hold that. <laughs> Fucking door's not moving, I swear. Private dining? Whoa! Automatic sliding door. What? Wow. Wow. This is insane. Now that is a place to have a meal. Look at that. Staring out over the mountains. They're just silhouettes right now, but wow, they are gorgeous. I would like jam on toast in there, please. I really tried. I, I tried. I got, <laughs> yeah, all right, we could be in the completely wrong area to try and find this secret bar. Uh, Lydia. No, I tried to open it, but I was pushing it. I didn't know you. I didn't know you were supposed to pull it. Lydia, it was a pull door. No, I went that way, and I found it. I, I found the back door. As if it was a pull door, for fuck's sake. Are you ready? You open it, you open it. <laughs> and just like that, secret bar. <laughs> it's a really secret bar, but that's where we were just sat. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking doors are open. That was such a typical Tom fail. Like, of course, I would go and try and open the secret door. It had to be that. I was using so much force to push it. I was like, it is not moving. 
And then when I walked through here to be like, oh, this bar's nice. He just went, oh, you want to leave? He opened it. I was like, you son of a bitch. I got to give it to this hotel. The vibe is absolutely nailed. It feels so cool. We've got a wedding going on out there. Massive courtyard out the back. Man, if this was Hogwarts, sign me up. I'm there. Look at this. The drink menu is amazing. I have got myself a Mai Tai. I think I might die, Tai. Oh. There they are. I thought you were full. What do you mean you have a second stomach for dessert at all times, always, everywhere, at any point in time? Oh. It's called an ooey gooey cookie. Mmm. Oh, that does look ooey gooey. An ice cream. What's salty? The this salt on the cookie? Canada. What's wrong with you? We could have left from the secret entrance or exit, but I thought, nah, we've done that. We know their secret. We know it's how is it supposed to be a secret? It's left wide open. Ready for a ghost hunt? No. Good, because I'm dying for the toilet. If we go to level two, and we listen really carefully. Oh! <laughs> in the You're trapped in the lift with my butt ghost. My, my food ghost. I've farted in the lift, I run. Imagine if it's like some really old woman just got in the lift after us. What do you mean, good luck getting in the room? <laughs> Ghostly feel, chicha. Where are you going? It's that one. I think we should just take our number off and put it on someone else's and charge them our room bill. Ah, <gasps> me toes! It's fucking freezing in this room. No. We've been gone for how many hours? Oh no way! I actually managed to upload seven. <laughs> Hold on. Well, that was nice to see that you know those files uploaded. Um, seven in five hours. I've now just uploaded um, an extra 54, which says it will take another five hours. I'd also like to apologize through the vlog footage throughout tonight, going a bit potato, not like it getting bad quality footage. I just mean, when I was filming in the restaurant, the lighting was terrible, so I just looked like this. It is what it is, I try my best, but the iPhone just struggles in low light, so the more you know. All right, are you ready to go to bed? Yeah. You tired? Sleepy. Yes. Well, that's just tough luck, babe, because you've got to send me all of all the vlog footage. I like trains. I think all I have to say is good night, Harry Potter world. You can't see anything. This phone is going to refuse to focus, but you were amazing. It has been a pleasure. I will continue this tour in the morning. So leave a like, rate, and subscribe. And I saw the horse. <laughs>